Rainforest Animal Fact Finders. Um, I've created a background here which shows the sections of your animal that you're going to choose and we are going to complete this and you can do it using Google Slides. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pick my rainforest animal. So I've done some research about which animal I want to use. So I'm going to click text box here. Um, I like things nice and central so I'm going to click center there. And I'm going to do my piece on the giant anteater. Now you do need to pick your own, it's not just a copy in what I've done. So first of all I'm going to start with what it eats and the clue is in its name. Now I'm not just going to say what it eats, I'm going to say how it eats it as well. So uh, giant anteater uses its long sticky tongue to eat ants. It uses its long sharp claws to tear open the nest or mound. There we go, that's that one. I'm going to insert another text box now and what are its predators. Now from my research I have found that giant anteaters have two natural predators and they are pumas and jaguars. Most of the time Anteaters will run away, but sometimes they will put up a fight. Now you can see that my text box isn't just big enough, so I'm going to make it a little larger there. Also, if you want to change the if you want to change the colours and things, you can come up here and we've got font, so you can change the font, you can change the size. Now I don't want to go bigger because it's not going to fit, but I could go a little smaller and I've got my colour here as well. Maybe we can make it a nice rain, rainforest green. Um, and basically we're going to carry on here, ta researching and finding out different facts. But here it does say draw or insert a picture. So in this one, I'm going to go insert image and I'm going to go search the web. And it brings up this box. I'm going to type in giant ant eater. And there is a picture of the giant ant eater. I'm going to have a little look down, see which one I like the best. Mm, probably that one up near the top. That one. So it brings up this one selected. I'm going to click insert. And then we're going to resize it so it fits in my box here. If I want, I can do some lines coming off it too. And then I can do little labels. So here, again, text box. We can put long snout. And I can just move that around so it's good for the arrow. Another arrow. Text box. Bushy 
Tail. And I'm going to keep going in that way. So, what is its habitat? So, in this case, for me, it's going to be about the forest floor, which is why it's a rainforest animal. So, I want to put things in about the rainforest floor. And then some fun facts. Now, one fun fact that I know about the giant anteater is the fact that it can eat up to 30,000 ants in a day. So, that could be something good. But obviously, my box is a little bigger. So, I want to find out a few facts. So, a couple of things what we're learning to do here. Not only are we learning about an animal from the rainforest, and you can pick any of the layers that you know about. So you can pick the forest floor if you want. You can pick the emergent layer. You can pick the canopy. You can pick any of the four layers. There are millions of animals in the rainforest, so you can pick whichever one you're interested in. And also, of course, with this, you get to practice your ICT skills. And when we were back in school, we did lots of changing text in certain text boxes, in certain pictures. So this should be pretty good for you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all the different animal facts. You don't have to print this off. You can just upload it to Google Classroom. But if you do want to print it off, you're going to go to File. You're going to go to Download As. And then you can download it as any one of these documents. So if you want to do this in pencil um, and you don't want to type into it, you could download it as a PDF with nothing inside it and it will do that for you and you can print it that way okay so that's if you want to, to print it off if not like I say you can do it all on the computer um, and just upload it to Google Classroom thank you very much and I will speak to you all soon